Welcome to Santa's Workshop. Since you're here, I assume you've been deeply affected by the recent layoffs at the Easter Bunny's Egg Factory and have sought other holiday employment. Well, you're in the right place. Santa's Workshop is a safe, wholesome, non-union toy manufacturing conglomerate located in the scenic North Pole. So bundle up and let's get started. First, you'll need to be acquainted with your uniform. All of Santa's elves are equipped with fire-resistant felt uniforms designed to block even the flames of Satan himself. Not that you'll have to worry about that, of course. The tunic and pants are made from the finest polycotton blend China has to offer, and the hat is imbued with Christmas spirit, which protects your precious little head from falling objects. So make sure you're always in uniform. Elves that end up in the naughty list end up in mince meat pies. Now, what are your responsibilities as one of Santa's precious little elves? Well, you'll need to make sure Santa knows which children are naughty and which ones are nice because you don't want naughty children to be happy, do you? How else will you be earning your keep in elf dormitories? Well, you will be cleaning up after Rudolph and the other reindeer in the stables. They need to be fed and watered and brushed and a whole host of other pet care responsibilities. Most importantly, someone needs to muck the stalls. And guess whose turn it is? The most important function of Santa's elves is the mass production of gifts for the 1,952,473,006 children on Earth. And, at an average of 12 gifts per child, that's over 200 billion gifts in one year. Good luck, maggot! Welcome to the F Word, I guess. I'm Nick Nieves. And I'm Lindsay Reinders, and I think we have an elf in the studio today. You bet your fruitcakes we do! Uh... Hello? Hello! Welcome to the F Word. Well, thank you. Thank you. Did, did you see Did you see that orientation video they yeah, just put me through? No, we saw it. it uh, oh, you know, yeah. I mean, it didn't seem too hard, just a, just a couple of chores. Oh, oh, oh. You, you don't think making 200 billion toys for children around the world is just more than a few chores? I mean, I can see that it does sound like a lot. It's a lot of kids. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, you, you bet your pigtails it is. Just, I wanna, I wanna see the Santa Claus fellow right now. Could, could, could like, we like bring him Like the Santa Claus? Yeah, the Santa Claus. Let's I don't know if we can, let's, no. can we, I don't, can we, I don't let's, think we can get Santa Claus. Let's get the bloated lobster here on this couch right now. I wanna I talk to him. Is there a problem here? Wait, who is this? Yes, yes, we do have a problem. Mince meat pies, Reindeer stables? This is not what I signed up for in my contract. Wait, who is this one? Yeah, are you supposed to be here? I am Security? Excuse me, I am Mr. Claus's attorney at law. I am Jingling is the name. <clears throat> uh. Mr. Claus retain Mr. Claus retains the right to alter and eliminate your contract completely any time should he see convenient for him. Ah, I, I did not sign up for that either. And, oh, and, and that orientation video? Well, did that... you read your contract? Well, no. Well, there's your first mistake. I'm sure we can mediate this right here, right now. What do you think, Lindsay? Oh, well, I think we have to. We can't have oppressed elves running around, yeah. especially in our studio. That's true. Well, wait, wait. Just a second. Your Santa's attorney? Mm-hmm, that's right. I am Jingling, attorney at law. What does Santa need an attorney for? Mr. Claus has many lawsuits pushed forward against him every day, every year. Most commonly, copyright infringement. Oh yeah, no, I, I can see that. There's a lot of Santa. And being such a... Does Santa get royalties for this? Yeah. Oh, he does? Okay. Oh, that, okay. We're good. Cool, okay. Cool. We're yeah. not doing anything wrong. I don't want to get sued. I don't want to get sued by Santa. No, I don't want to get or sued. Or jingling. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Isn't this supposed to be about me? You know, we'll get right back now, to you in a second. I'm, I'm, what does Santa do for the other 364 days of the year? Well, for the other 364 days of the year, Mr. Santa Claus works fruitlessly planning for... The day of Christmas. Think he Christmas. makes a lot of fruit? No, 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 no. Please, do not mistake my language choices, my word choice, better yet. He works effortlessly each and every day planning for Christmas. Lizzie, he sounds like a hardworking man. Yeah, he's very hardworking. Does Santa ever take vacation? No, he does not. There is only one day, actually. No. <laughs> 
No. Okay. I guess that's all. No, one time, but not. Uh, he I, tried. I, yeah, he, he tried, tried. You know. Hmm. Do you represent other famous figures? I have once represented the Easter Bunny in a case uh, against the Sandman, but oh. since that case went south for me, I have decided to only represent Mr. Claus and his family. And it snows I, there. Yes. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, what, wasn't this supposed to be about me? Hello? Hi. I'm, I, I, I sorry, have issues sorry. here, too. I I'm, mean, I'm having a problem sure. here. I, I, uh, what, what's it like being an elf? What's it like being an elf? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was great until now. When Maybe I mean, now I that I realize that I'm being raised my entire life just to be slave work for this fat guy with a beard and a red suit. Well, how long have you been an elf? My whole life. Oh. Ever, ever, ever since I was born, and, and you know, my father. Oh, so you're was born into it. It's kind of yeah. a tradition kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. What were you exactly. talking to in the phone? The big man himself. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What does he have to say about all this? He says that you were in complete violation of your contract by being on this studio <laughs> itself. Oh. 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 What? What, is that, Oops. What, what does that mean for me, then? You're fired. Oh, so I don't have to work for him? And we will be suing you. Oh, oh, goody. I'm sure goody. we could find you something to do here. Yeah, you can be Mr. like the studio elf. Elf? Yeah. 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 Mis like Mr. More importantly, though, idea. we're not going to be put on the naughty list, right? Did he well, say no, no, no. We had nothing that? to do with him. He just yeah, showed he just up. Showed I mean, up. They, I mean, they we love should you. be That's put right. on the nice list. Because they're helping a guy who's in need. Yeah, exactly. yeah. We are selfless job makers here at the F Word. Yeah, public servants. On public access. Yeah. Public servants' accesses. My client's son says, no, you will not be put on the naughty list. Yes! All Wait, right. is he though? My client's son says yes. Good, because I don't want your, your stupid toys anyway, made by slave workers in a workshop that are slaved to death. Speaking of toys, what do you do on Christmas Day? Or Christmas Eve, rather? Well, we drink heavily, and I think I now know why. Well, uh, that's not... We, um, sounds like elfing is great. But unfortunately, we have to move on. Oh, thank you guys for coming onto our show, even though it was impromptu and random and unwarranted. But we appreciate you guys coming down. Yeah, when we come back, we're going to show you how to make your own Christmas tree ornaments on a budget. Stay tuned. Every child, every child, every, every, every child needs love, needs love, needs love. Every child needs love. Welcome back to the holiday special of The F Word. We've got a few ways here to decorate for the holiday season without spending a fortune. These decorations can be made with a few things lying around the house. First up, we've got snowmen and uh, ornaments. And they're gonna look like this. All Here's finished. another one. So to start, you're Now gonna... guys, I know this looks difficult and extravagant and wholesome, but it's actually just three bottle caps glued together. Crazy. I know. Um, unfortunately, Ooh, okay. here in the studio, they don't allow me to use the hot glue gun. But that's Anymore. what I'm here for, so. So Lindsay will do that All right. part. You need three bottle caps. Bottle caps. 
And you're going to hot Where'd you glue get these bottle caps from? them together. Um, I found them in a bag somewhere. <laughs> cool. Yeah. That's the best place I find to find things. That, that's where I look first, you when know. You're making a mess. It's, it's the hot glue. Oh, okay. I studied under Martha Stewart for a few years. Now, once she's done with the gluing, which I'm not allowed to do, we are going to paint those inside of those bottle caps white because that is the color of snow, Just if you were unaware. When you're hot gluing, make sure you don't get it on your hands because it's really hot. <laughs> and you'll glue stuff to yourself. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. The hot glue gun is hot? <laughs> yeah, they don't lie. No lies with the arts no. and crafts. No. So, Lindsay, right, we got three together now. we're preparing for the holidays. Yes, What is are. your favorite thing about them? I love hanging out with my family. Oh, that's a really I know, sweet it's answer so to cliche, say. It's so cliche, but... It's really cliche. All right. Nick is going to paint the inside of the bottle caps white. Yes, I will do that. Okay. You can and I'll that. glue the other ones. But everyone comes over, and we're all just, you know... Do you have any strange holiday traditions you do with your family? Ah, uh, strange holiday. Well, every tradition is strange, I think. But <laughs> every single one. Every yeah. See that guy's white in the bottle cap. We always. I'm no artist, but I can handle that. We always go and get a Christmas tree. That could be strange to some people. Like you cut it down yourself? Yeah, like my dad has this little saw. What? And we march out in the woods and we find a tree, and we cut it down, and then we decorate it. I can picture you cutting down a tree in the forest. Yeah. What's your favorite Taking holiday tradition? Taking the squirrels home away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we bring them in the house. My favorite holiday tradition is pumpkin pie. Really? <laughs> That's as far as that goes. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't more to the story. Oh. I enjoy pumpkin pie. That's a great story. How's the painting coming? It's good. I painted it white, like I said I would, and now it's white. It looks Look great. That. Looks excellent. Cool. Here's another one if you want to paint it. You don't cool. have to, though. No, I'll paint that one. Okay, he's gonna that paint that one. That you magnificently glued with the hot glue See, gun it's that a, I'm not allowed to use. It's a solid hot glue job. See, this stuff attaches itself to everything. It's like a. You have to be gun. really careful with the hot glue gun because the strands get everywhere and they stick together. It's just bad. What's but the great thing about something like this is the adult in the family can do all the hot gluing, yes. and then you can leave the painting. And the decorating for the children. Or Nick. Or or for the Nick in your family, which I know you all have. Then to hang them up, I am going to hot glue again. Just a piece of thread. Um, did, you, did you finish that one? Don't rush me. Art takes no, time. Did that one go? It dropped on the floor. Oh, I dropped it in Yeah, it? you dropped it. I <laughs> also broke it, so. That's fine. This one looks great. We'll just wait. Okay. You're going to hot glue it to the back of... Guys, I'm helping. I don't want to bust your finger. <laughs> then, then don't bust my finger. I should know too. <laughs> this is really difficult. See, this is why we use teamwork. Okay. And now you can hang it on a tree after it dries. So we're going to let that dry for a second and move on to our next... Art project. Okay. Art project. What do you want to do the next? Next one. We're gonna do the paper circles. Which? What do they? Where is it? Okay. This is what the finished product's gonna look like. That's pretty cool. You can see it. I think it's awesome. Now you can't probably tell, but all it is is a whole bunch of maps cut up into circles. You can use anything lying around that has lots of layers. Yeah, like maps, newspapers, books. If you want to cut up a book. Yeah, if you want to cut up that old book that you're not using anymore. Yeah. Well, we have maps here. So, so what you're going to do... You are going to use a cup. You don't have to use a cup. You can use anything that's Well, a you circle. can use anything... Okay, well, we have a cup. And then you take it like that, and you get something to stencil with. You're going to trace I'll hold it. it. Okay. You can trace All it. Right. I trust you. Teamwork you makes the dream work. Okay, Lindsay. Huh? Christmas is coming. Yep. What's the your goose favorite Christmas song? It's getting fat. I like. Who's getting fat? The gooses. You the haven't gooses. heard that song? No. Can I hear it? Yeah. Let Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, after you cut them out, you open them up, and you get a whole bunch like we already got here. Look at those. Boom. All the different circles. <laughs> now. 
Oh, it's Patterson. I love oh, Patterson. Oh, Patterson. That's a great place. All right. You're going to fold the circles in half. Like? No, one at a time. Oh, one at Why can't I do it all at once? Because, okay. All right. Let's Lindsay knows how to do this better than all I right. do. Three, the four, goose is getting five, fat. Six, is that how it goes? Seven, yeah. The goose my, is getting my fat. My favorite Christmas, Christmas song has to be Sleigh Ride. Sing, I, don't, I can't recall. Sing it for me. It's an instrumental song, so. <laughs> like half like that. Sleigh Ride. What's your favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is Baby It's Cold Outside. It's a good one. It has nothing to do with Christmas at all. <laughs> And then it's let us know. That's a good one. Because the weather outside, you know, sometimes it gets frightful. It and, does get frightful. But the, the fire, fire is so It's really delightful. delightful. Oh, it's like you're reading my mind. It, and, you know, when you got no place to go, you know, you just got to let, it, let snow. it snow. And, let know. it snow. Let it snow. Let it snow. That's all you can really do. So you're going to keep folding them. It might take a while. In case you didn't know, the best way to do arts and crafts is with music. In case you were wondering. Do you like Mariah Carey? I love Mariah Carey. Do you love her All I Want For Christmas Is You? I kind of do. I also kind of do Can too you sing a lot. It? I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I kind of like this song too. I don't I like know what the song. this song is though. Okay, so once you got a whole bunch folded in half. Oh, you beat me. I, I kind of skipped some. Oh, okay. You're going to take some tape, right? Yep. Do you know what tape is? I it's know clear exactly and what tape is. Okay, cool. You ready? Right here. Here's tape. You're gonna take the tape. You know what? I'm gonna tape yours. Okay. We're gonna take the tape. You're gonna tape the half it's circles here. together, huh? It's like this. Oh. Lindsay doesn't know what she's doing. I know what I did on that. Take the tape. And tape oh, I see. the edges together like that. See that? The edges are taped. Now they can't come apart because it's adhesive. Then you take another one and you tape it there. Oh, my turn to tape. It's your turn to tape. I'm trusting you. I don't know if you should trust me to tape. I shouldn't. I can do the hot glue stuff. But What's your know. best tape story? My tape, best tape story. I don't know if I have one. What's your best tape story? My best tape story is there was one time and I had a roll of tape, and I was outside by myself. So I started to hide things on the top of the garage using the tape. <laughs> My mother lost a shovel, a flashlight, her glasses, and some of her pantyhose. I'm sure she was really happy with you. She was ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> we found them later when they fell off. <laughs> tape doesn't last forever outside. No. All right, how are we doing? We're doing good. I think we can use some more circles, though. Okay. So as you can see, we're taping them together, but eventually we're going to tape it shut. But we're going to put some more there. Yeah. If I can get this off my fingers. There we go. What is your favorite Lindsay, Christmas Lindsay, why isn't your best tape story being taped up by our guest? I don't have... Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Remind I the totally, guests about that. I'm sorry, Nick Gates. You were a really cool guest. We had a guest on our arts and, was it arts and artists? Yes, our arts and artists show. That makes no sense. But Nick Gates came on, who's an a artist here at SUNY Fredonia, and he makes... He's an artist because he makes art. Yeah, he makes art, quality art. He taped my hand up, and now I have a sculpture of my own hand, and it's the coolest thing a ever. A tape sculpture? A tape sculpture what? of my own hand, yeah. It's okay, going to be at the loop this shut. So now, it looks like that. And See again. That? So eventually, it's going to look like this. But that's because we have to thread it first. So. But again, we're not going to trust me with the thread, so Lindsay is going to do that right. part. There we go. All right. I can't do the cool things on set. It's okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs> that is why you're here. <laughs> hey, you put it through, right? You don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> Where's the needle? I don't have a needle. You don't need a needle for that. We're not doing cool things. Um, okay, I'll show you. You do actually have a needle. Never mind. You take a needle. You thread the needle. Don't put the needle in your mouth like I just did. That's a horrible idea. Oh, I see. And then you thread the needle. All right. I'm not going to explain to you how to thread a needle, because I think you got it, guys. 
I know but if I'm you do, find now. me on the Twitter and I'll explain it. On the Twitter? On the Twitter. Are you on the Twitter, Lindsay? I am not. Hashtag lame. Hashtag nailed it. <laughs> that wasn't in the right context at all. Whatever. While Lindsay is doing that, I'm going to explain to you guys what's next, which is the popcorn garlic. You're um, not supposed to be eating our decorations, Nick. It has no butter on it. That was a bad <laughs> idea. Well, anyway, you take another thrive. Oh, that was disgusting. No butter. Don't eat popcorn without butter and salt, guys. That's a horrible idea. But you get another needle and another piece of thread. I'll get to that. But what we're going to do is we're going to take each pot of popcorn and needle it to Me another piece of popcorn. And then we're going to needle that I'm gonna sew to it another off. piece of popcorn. <laughs> and then we're going to needle that to another piece right. of popcorn. Well, if you want to that. finish this off. And then you're going to take a whole bunch of popcorn and needle all those. And then you're going to make... A garland of popcorn. I thought we had a done one, but I don't have one. I can't find it. Well, anyway, this is what popcorn looks like uncooked, That's guys. Okay. In case you're wondering, this is what you put in the microwave to make this. It's like magic, but it has to do with chemistry. How's that coming, there, Lindsay? I fixed oh, that. Lindsay finished our circle snow map. See that, guys? You have a little Lindsay's nose. is almost as good as this one. Almost, not But not quite. quite. It's okay. Someday Lindsay will do as good as this person did. It was me. I made it. You did not make that. No, I didn't. All right. I think our stage manager did. No, our producer did. Our producer's roommate did. Somebody well, made this, and they're wonderful. They are wonderful. They are wonderful. I'll find out later. And then mm -hmm. I'll put it on the Twitter. The Twitter. Hashtag Christmas so, decorations. Are you needling that? I'm, I'll needle it. You get the popcorn right. I don't think that's a, a verb. Needling? Yeah. You oh. obviously don't know English. There's needle work. So I'm needling this. While you're doing that, though, can you tell me what your all-time favorite Christmas music movie is? Um, I don't know. I just saw Disney's new movie, Frozen, and that was pretty fantastic. It's about sisters who love each other and then get torn apart by winter and magic. And then they find each other. That sounds touching. All right, guys. I am now needling the popcorn. See that? Now there's thread inside of it. And then I'm going to do another piece that doesn't break. And I'm going to push it down. And now there's more together. Look at that. And then I keep going forever. And it gets to turn it. All right. Lindsay, you can do that one. Oh, OK. Switch with me. I guess I'm doing this now. But just so you guys know, another really quick one you can do. You can take the bottom of a... Pop can. Pop. It's a bottle. Pop bottle. Pop bottle. You're going to paint that pop bottle white. Why, do you ask? Do you paint it white? Why do you paint it white, Nick? Because snow's the color white. That's crazy. And this is going to be a snowflake. So, this is going to take me a long time to paint white. Hmm. You're not being helpful. I'm sorry. Well, you told me to do this. <laughs> Once yeah, it's white, I think you get another color. I'm going to pick blue because blue, you, well, I'll not the color. Oh, Let me, okay. Um, okay. I got it. Say I'm not helpful, and then I try to help. Well, you're, are you, you're just, yeah. So then you take the blue and you make a design that looks like a snowflake because blue is almost like snow, but not at all. And it's like Elvis's blue Christmas. So then you have that, which is like a snowflake if I was a bad artist. But I'm sure you guys at home are going to do much better. But here's one done. That's someone a lot better than me completed. It can't look like that. That's mine, and that's theirs. They're an artist. I'm not. And then eventually, your garland's going to look like that. Yeah. You put that on a tree, hang it up in your window, put it around your significant other's neck, whatever Anything. you want. See, it's a nice necklace. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. You can eat it later, too. It's like a candy necklace. All right, guys. We're going to be right back with a special guest, Tommy, and we'll see you guys then. Stay tuned. Well, I first started skating with my friend. He had an extra board, and then he just gave it to me, and I've been skating ever since. Well, when I don't learn a trick and I have my mind set on something 
and I'm not getting what I want, I just keep going for it until I get it right. Um, my mom, she didn't go to college, so she wants me to experience that whole thing, and so I could end up getting like a good job. To get into college, I'll have to be determined. Just like when I want to get a new trick, and skating's helped me realize I've got what it takes. Welcome back to the F Word Holiday Edition. Now, to close out the show, we've got Tommy Pizzullo doing a reading of Clement Clark's Moore's Christmas classic, A Visit from St. Nicholas. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Not even a mouse? Not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. I like chimneys. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while vision, visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her handkerchief, and I in my cap. It's handkerchief. Had just held our brains oh, for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, oh. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. What was the matter? Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. Ooh. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the lust of midday to objects below. When what will to my wonders eyes should appear? But a miniature sleigh, an eight tiny reindeer. Wait, oh, how I'm miniature so was the sleigh? Like mini. How tiny were the, the reindeer? Wait, were they um, normal sized reindeer with the miniature sleigh? Normal sized reindeer and a tiny little sleigh. Seems excessive. It does seem excessive. Yeah. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. <laughs> More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Wait, each one he called them by name for the miniature sleigh with each all the regular sized. One. That's so personal. He said, yo, this is your name, this is your name, and this is your name. All individually, you know, because it makes them feel better. Yeah. They work better that yeah. way, probably. You know, I buy that. Okay. What did he call them? Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. Why did he name them this, like, such close names? I mean, why not Ralph and then Winston? He probably, Winston. like, saw him in a book, and he was like, oh, these look like great names. Cool. I need your hand. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Vixen. Oh, Blitzen, I lied. To the top of the porch, to the yeah, top Vixen of the Yeah, Vixen was up wall. here. Blitzen's on yeah, there. I'm tell you. Now, dash away, dash away. Dash away all. Is Blitzen a female reindeer or a male reindeer? I think, you know, he was kind of confused that day. And he was just like... But have you ever seen Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Oh, they're all ago. boys. All of them? Even yes. Vixen? Yes, they're all Vixen's boys. Vixen's not a boy's name. But it's a reindeer boy's name. That's true. interesting. They've, they've got different sto uh, standards or... Yeah. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Why does he keep repeating himself? I, you know, I think he forget, He doesn't know what to say, so they just threw extra words in there. It oh. rhymes better. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. There was a hurricane? I, I know, I read this earlier, and I was like, whoa. It was Hurricane Sandy. It was Hurricane Sandy hurricane in the Sandy. winter. <laughs> <laughs> so up to the housetop, the courses they flew. With a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. Aww. Yep. I like him. What a good guy. He's got your name. He is. He has my same name. He stole it. He stole is that the only reason you like Santa? Shh. Going on the naughty list. And then in the twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around. Can you turn the page on? Oh, sure. Yeah. Uh, is this the next one? No, right here. You can throw that away. We don't I want to throw it. Towards no. the night before Christmas. Wait, we already nope. read that. Oh, no, oh that's, man. No, nope, that's all for him. Oh, man. Down the chimney, right St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur. What's a bound? Like, in a hurry. Are they calling him yeah. fat? No. Oh. Call no. Do not call Santa okay, fat. Okay, so right. he was dressed all in fur. <laughs> he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ash and soot. Because he was in a fireplace. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That Wait, does Santa like clean himself off after every house, or does he let the soot like collect? He should get a limp brush. 
Yeah. We should get Santa a limp brush. Oh. He doesn't need any more cookies. They make anti-wrinkle clothing. Why don't they make anti-soot clothing? Uh, yeah. yeah. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back. Would you like to And he looked like a peddler him? just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses. His nose like a cherry. His droll it's little... a really red nose. Yeah. Santa might be sick. Well, he's out in the cold all night. He what do you expect? It's a medicine. Aw. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth. And the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. Wait, he's piping as he goes? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. He's a classy guy. Class? He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Huh. He was chubby and plump, a right jo a jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. No. Oh. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod of the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team as he whistled, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard Mick slam, here he drove out of sight, happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. That is wonderful. That was wonderful. Don't. <laughs> it's not going in, there it is. There it is. Oh, what, that was. We want to thank Tommy for coming on today and reading us that wonderful story about Santa. <laughs> I'll save you. <laughs> well, we want to thank everyone for tuning in tonight and Tommy for reading us that wonderful story. Thanks, mm -hmm. Tommy. You're welcome. I'm Lindsay Reinders. And I'm Nick Nieves. Have a festive, fabulous, fantastic week. And from our family to yours, happy, happy holidays. holidays.